So I'll just give a quick update on uh, our solar power. Uh, we've got some nice sunshine this morning. It's cold, but uh, we're generating 21.9 volts. 0.9 amps. This is a job we've been threatening to do for quite a while. Uh, down in this corner, with the teak deck. Well, it's not teak deck. This is actually plywood. Uh, that's uh, been put down in panels at, at some point um, and down here it's finally succumbed uh, it must have been put down a long time ago uh, so what we're going to do is cut out a section here and let a new panel in uh, before we do that we need to clean it all up uh, this has been screwed down at the edges um, with stainless steel screws the bolt can work quite well uh, but obviously it's left holes in the fiberglass deck so what we'll do once we've got this cut away is fill all those with uh, thickened epoxy so. This is the, uh, the piece of marine ply that we're going to use. Um, I think we'll use it on that. And what I'll end up doing is putting some grooves in and then just putting some black seal in uh, just to bring the black lines back. We did this repair earlier in the other corner. Probably we'll have to put another piece in down that edge there at some point, which will come out of the other piece that we cut off that panel. Uh, cut out a bit more 
and then we can start cleaning all of this bad section up. I might have to put a small piece in up there because uh, I want to try and get back to good wood. So carry on. on camera oh, I'll go over. Um, we've cut that section out there we've got down to there it's taking a bit of cleaning up there but it's coming off uh, we just had to wait because we've had uh, run out of batteries um, both batteries are charging at the moment so we can get on and cut this out we can see here this is now into good so that's what I was hoping to get to so that section there is going to have to be replaced so that'll be the next bit to cut out and I've got a little bit up there to cut away uh, and let a piece in there as well um, but once it's done most of it you won't see because we'll stain it in to, to match uh, the rest Thank you. 
I've got that chopped out, everything else. We've just roughed the surface. That black is the residues of the glue that was used, which isn't a problem. Um, we're using a, we're going to use a uh, modern high grab adhesive uh, on the bottom of the uh, new piece of ply. I have to cut the ply now to fit into around these notches, um, and then we can drill out the screw holes fill with thickened epoxy and also to mix some epoxy up to coat the back and the edges of the new piece that we're putting in. So we've marked the board out now so that should, you probably can't see the lines on that. So we've marked the board out now so that should, you probably can't see the lines on that. What are you doing, Kit? Okay, so that's the panel now let in. Uh, and we've lined it, drawn the lines on that just need the top surface cutting away uh, so that we can uh, put the uh, black, just let some black rubberized material into there. Um, what we have to do now is fill uh, all the screw holes with some thickened epoxy and there's our kit. Now we're ready to just fill these holes. We've just, um, if you can see, but we've just opened the holes out a little bit just to give a little bit uh, of surface area uh, for the thickened epoxy and it's going to be um, West Systems 105, 205 Ardner and 406 colloidal silica. It's been a wonderful day. You won't believe it's the 30th of December in the UK and I'm in a t-shirt so, thanks for watching. Uh, please do consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a penny, uh, but it does help us. Uh, and don't forget to uh, press the bell icon. And that will remind you when we have a new video coming out on motor cruising. Ava Grace.